imagine that once the flames had been extinguished and <clears throat> the detectives would have examined the ruins of the rooms that escaped the blaze, maybe they found dust coated glass slippers cracked, discarded in the hallway, or one lonely exposed streak of clean, smooth bench where somebody had run their fingers across the surface. Quite believing that you could have lived like this. And you were so beautiful and so special. And you had me under your spell. If only you were sucked under yourself into pure decadence. But wasn't it magnificent? Days melting together after we decided to be done with conventions and routines. And I remember how we travelled to the middle of the universe and ripped out those cogs and opinions that made time move. We really did stop time. No joke. Because once we did, we were in another dimension. Living one of those swooning days and sharp, hyper-focused nights of chaos in places like these, neglected to the point of ruin, but teeming with life and activity. If you were still here, then Maybe we would have just walked up that path to nowhere and for a second forgotten that we had books full of splendid knowledge to drink in and revise and then regurgitate in one precious hour that told us if we were stupid or not. All that we had forever to resurrect from his deathbed, the time we'd so indulgently slaughtered. All that we had a world to remind that we were the meat of the heart that you felt when you touched your fingertips on the pulse of this neighbourhood. Our stories and our words, the blood that flowed through the network this town. And you had heart, but you hid it because it was more beaten up and forgotten than the places that we used to go to.